So Russia has decided to launch a full-scale military attack on Ukraine. In a televised speech at around 5.55am local time on the 24th of February 2022, President Vladimir Putin announced a military operation in Ukraine's eastern Donbass region. The region home to Russian-speaking Ukrainians, parts of it occupied by Russian-backed rebels since 2014. In that speech, Vladimir Putin said he was intervening as an act of self-defense, and that Russia didn't want to occupy Ukraine but would demilitarize the country. But the international community says that Putin wants Ukraine back and is willing to use deadly force to do so. After the announcement was made, parts of Ukraine started to get hit. According to reports, as of two hours ago from recording this video, as many as 203 separate attacks have taken place. Mainly military bases, but footage on social media has shown that various civilian buildings have been hit. Throughout the day, the conflict has grew, and it's thought that troops are attempting to make their way towards Ukraine's capital, Kyiv. So I won't take you over every single part of the recent conflict, but reports have came out that various firefights have taken place and casualties have been announced on both sides. Videos and images of destroyed planes, tanks and armoured vehicles have all surfaced on social media as well. But some recent reports have emerged that Russian troops have actually made their way to the Chernobyl power plant and have in fact taken it over while taking workers hostage. For anyone who isn't aware, the site is home to one of, if not the most deadliest man-made disaster of all time. According to Ukrainian officials, they've come out to say that after a fierce gun battle with Russian troops, Chernobyl had been lost and was now under Russian occupation. It's thought they'd came in from Belarus before engaging local forces in fierce fighting. Those officials also saying that personnel had been taken hostage, but their condition was currently unknown. The president of Ukraine, Volodymyr Zelensky, going on to say that Russia had just declared war on the whole of Europe by storming the radioactive zone. Of course, all of this has only happened within less than 24 hours and will sadly continue as the days go on. If anyone's wondering why no troops have been sent in from NATO, well, that's because Ukraine isn't a part of NATO. President Biden coming out to say that there will absolutely be no troops going into Ukraine to fight Russian troops. But if Russia tries to invade other countries that are a part of NATO or attack other NATO countries, then troops will be deployed. And sadly, that means we're looking at World War Three just around the corner. I'm posting up-to-date videos and images from social media as they come in over on my Instagram. If you want to keep posted on this situation, it will be over on my Instagram, which will be linked down in the description below. Because this conflict is definitely going to be ongoing for the foreseeable future, and realistically is only just started. After the recent news what emerged, it looks as if European countries and the United States of America, Japan, Australia and others of the like, have all imposed strict sanctions against Russia for, of course, the action that they've decided to take. These sanctions have been put in place to try and cripple Russia's economy, but of course we're going to have to see how this situation pans out over the next days, weeks, months, and eventually years. For now though, it's been me, Ape Honcho, and I'll see you in the next one. Ее цель – защита людей, которые на протяжении 8 лет подвергаются издевательствам, геноциду со стороны киевского режима. И для этого мы будем стремиться к демилитаризации и денацификации Украины, а также приданию суду тех, кто совершил многочисленные кровавые преступления против мирных жителей, в том числе и граждан Российской Федерации. Призываю вас немедленно сложить оружие и идти домой. Поясню. Все военнослужащие украинской армии, которые выполнят это требование, смогут беспрепятственно покинуть зону боевых действий и вернуться к своим семьям. Кто бы ни пытался помешать нам, а тем более создать угрозы для нашей страны, для нашего народа, должны знать, что ответ России будет незамедлительным и приведет вас к таким последствиям, с которыми вы в своей истории еще никогда не сталкивались. Мы готовы к любому развитию.